Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Moments with Kate, where I talk about skincare, hair care, and wellness. So if that sounds like your sort of thing, make sure you subscribe down below. In today's video, I'm going to be walking through many different products from all different lines across Briogeo. And I'm going to be talking about the company itself, just general thoughts on which products are worth it and which ones aren't. So if that sounds like your sort of thing, sit back and enjoy. First, before we jump into the products, I wanted to take it back and talk about the company itself. I was intrigued to first um, use the products just because I saw them all over Instagram. They look fantastic, but also people really, really, truly loved them. They found that they were seeing instant results without worrying about any harsh products or harsh chemicals or ingredients in there. I know there's a lot of great um, companies out there that show amazing instant results, but it's usually because the chemicals and the products are a bit harsher when really Briochio was like, no, we're going to keep it clean. We're going to keep it simple and just effective. So that was something that I was attracted to too. And then I heard about the founder story from uh, Nancy Twine. That's the founder and current CEO. Um, she grew up where she was just making her own concoctions of natural hair care remedies. And she did that from a really young age. So that was something that interests me and I fully supported if she got from there all the way up, especially being a black woman running a BIPOC business. I definitely thought that that was something I wanted to get behind. So those were a few reasons why I initially started using these products. I'm going to be walking through three hair masks today, one deodorant and then one curl defining cream. So kind of a range and it's across all their different uh, types of uh, hair care lines. The first product I'll jump into is the curl defining cream. This one has amino acids and avocado oil, really um, nourishing ingredients. And what you do is you apply this on damp hair after the shower, and it really helps to eliminate a lot of the frizz and dryness that you receive from the shower, and also defines your curls. So this was something that I was very interested in. I generally have very frizzy, more so on the wavy side hair, and I like to define my curls and also <laughs> nourish them. Sorry, my cat's running around. Um, but that was something that was a goal for me. And so I wanted to pick this up and try it right away. The overall experience, I agree, is super nourishing. It's not like drying out your hair, or giving that like stiff feeling to it. I hate when I put it in a product and it's just like basically gel hairspray. It's just like stiff and there's no movement. So this helps a lot with it. The only thing is because my hair is wavy and I'm really looking for that curl definition, it's less on that side. I would say it's more nourishing than anything. So I do still pair it with something that has a bit more grip in it to keep my curls lasting all day. Next up, I'll talk about the deodorant. This is their natural deodorant and it has tea tree and eucalyptus. So there's no aluminum, talc, or parabens. And the jury's out on whether aluminum is actually harsh for our skin and causes cancer. I'm sure it is harsh in some way, but there is no full um, universal results on whether or not it does cause cancer, but I thought, you know what, it doesn't hurt to just eliminate it from my deodorant, so I picked this up, and I also thought the scent was really fresh. I love tea tree and eucalyptus on a lot of things, so it, it does smell very fresh. It smells like, um, kind of like aloe vera when you get out of the sun and you apply it on your skin, it smells exactly like that, so that's a bit more refreshing than like the super powdery, um, floral scents that come with classic deodorant. And I actually switched to this one because I was using a spray deodorant from Degree and just the aerosol like fumes that you would get off of it, I would cough every time I used it and I was like, okay, this probably isn't good. So I better switch to something a bit more natural and this one's great. I would say I only use it in the winter when I'm not leaving my house. It's been great for quarantine because I'm not sweating a ton, but I do find that this doesn't really help with um, eliminating odor. So if I'm, you know, playing beach volleyball and I'm sweating a lot, I will stink unfortunately. So I would use this on most days, but if I'm really, you know, sweating a lot, it's summer, then I, I switch to something more traditional. Next, I'm going to be talking about the Don't Despair Repair Deep Hydrating Mask or Deep Conditioning Mask. And this one I was very excited for because again, frizzy hair, it needs a lot of love, it needs a lot of hydration. And so I was very excited for this one. And this has a lot of nourishing ingredients, I think like rosehip oil, algae, B vitamins, lots of stuff. So this one is pretty great, I would say. It, um, it smells a bit like honey, so there must be maybe some honey in here that, that would make sense for nourishing. I don't have too much to say about this one other than the fact that it is almost virtually the same as the Honey Bear one. Uh, this one is from the same line, Don't Despair Repair, but this is just the Honey Moisture Deep Conditioning Mask. So I think they're virtually the same. I sort of put them both on my hand last night in the shower and same consistency, same everything all around. So I'm sure there's a 
bit of a difference. This one smells a bit harsher. I like the smell of this one a bit more, but as far as the effects go, they're virtually the same. This one I think sold out everywhere. I'm sure because of the packaging. I know I was a sucker for the packaging. Um, so if you're like, oh my God, I want to try this so bad regardless of the packaging, this one is pretty similar. Honestly, you could probably mix in like a teaspoon of honey and it would probably be the exact same thing. So I tried both of these and you know what? I just didn't, I wasn't too impressed. I'm sure it was nourishing at a deep level, but as far as just like getting extra oils in there and really deeply conditioning it, they didn't really do the trick for me. I'm actually going to show you the regular conditioner that I use every single time I shower and it's just generally more nourishing than both of these. So one sec. So this is the one I use every single day. It's the Garnier Whole Blends Repairing Conditioner. It's the Honey Treasures one and honestly if you like switch bottles with these, like I would I would pay $40 if it was from Briogeo. It is really, really good. I honestly think I bought this whole entire thing for around $11, $14, I would say. And it just, it's like that, but next level. It just has that extra layer of hydration and oil and it just really, really eliminates all the frizz in my hair. So it's interesting. I don't know what I think about this. I honestly, when this is empty, I'll probably just fill this in and keep it on display because it's so cute, but I love this. And I would say it is better than both of those combined. Then the last hair mask to talk about is this one. This is the Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. And this one was probably my favorite of the three. Uh, it's a bit more nourishing, but I think just the overall experience I like more. The full size comes in a jar, so just keep that in mind if that's something you like or not. But um, the smell alone is what I would pick over the other two. It smells like... Um, smells like candy, apples, like green, green apple candy, something like that. It is unbelievable. I can't even describe it properly because it is just that good. I can't put words to it. So if you're on the fence with this and you love smells, you like your hair to smell really good, just try it alone for the smell because it is incredible. But other than that, it is just a general good mask for nourishing and hydrating. As mentioned, it has that avocado oil as well as kiwi extract and also spinach, which all have different uh, benefits, but it's generally nourishing, protecting, and there's a lot of antioxidants in there. And this one, this mask, it, it had huge hype a while ago, and it also won Allure's 2020 Beauty Award, so that's something to note as well. So that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope if you're on the fence about one of these products, I either shipped you one way or the other, and I hope to see you in my next video. See ya.